Guantanamo Bay has been open for more than 20 years. Almost 800 inmates have been imprisoned there, many on charges with scant supportive evidence. Only a few of them have been charged with a crime, and none of them have yet received a fair trial. So is this legal? And if so, how did the US make that possible? After the 9-11 attacks, Bush declared a global war on terror. A large part of that involved sweeping up suspects thought to be involved in the planning or execution of what the US government called acts of terror against the United States. Initially, these suspects were placed in black sites in different countries. But then, it was decided that instead of using numerous smaller prisons that operated under murky legal circumstances, one large prison would be used. Guantanamo Bay, an old US Navy base in Cuba, was chosen. Guantanamo Bay was under US control, but it wasn't technically inside the US. So the Bush administration claimed that US law would not apply to the detainees held there. If they were to be put in a US prison, the US would have to either charge them with a crime and put them on trial, or release them. But at Guantanamo, they could be held indefinitely, with some being held for more than two decades and still awaiting trial. But what about international protection? Well, the Bush administration also claimed that international law did not apply to these detainees either, even though the US is a signatory of the Geneva Conventions. Under the Geneva Conventions, detainees like these would be referred to as prisoners of war, and the conventions have a set of laws on how prisoners of war should be dealt with. For instance, prisoners of war can't be forcefully interrogated or tortured, and must be released as soon as the conflict ends. So the Bush administration made up a new term, calling them unlawful enemy combatants. The US then claimed that it could hold these unlawful enemy combatants indefinitely. Thus, the US created a prison where all legal protections available for its inmates within the national and international system had been visibly withdrawn and allowed it to be operated outside the rule of law. Will those who have been held there ever be able to seek legal recourse?